Rayanne, Megan, and Carly Colatrulio are kids. They don't have the money or supplies to donate to Superstorm Sandy victims, but they've donated time, spending thousands of hours organizing and counting donated items. I have like everything at my house that I like want, and like if, and if something happened to me, I'd probably want someone to help me too. Working with Operation Sandy Relief, they are getting hundreds of donated toys ready for the group's trip back down to New York City on December 15th. The girls say it's a gift being able to put a smile on another child's face. For them not to know and then just have a big truck go down with all the toys and have them to be able to at least have something for Christmas, they're probably not expecting it. It's very, very wonderful for them to get like toys and stuff for Christmas because after everything that happened, they had nothing. For Brian Borchik, who helped start Operation Sandy Relief with just a Jeep, seeing the effort's impact on the kids makes it special. You don't see it every day and you're not involved in something like this, you lose sight of this, that there's kids like this still. And, and what this has taught us is that there's... They're, they're everywhere. And it doesn't just stop at those three little girls either, as the Dark Star Orchestra, a popular Grateful Dead cover band, has actually agreed to let these bins in to their concerts tonight at the Westcott Theater for people to donate their toys to Operation Sandy Relief, another example of the grand scale of everything this group has done for those Sandy victims. Just to have this band be willing to take part in this and know that everybody's trying to do this, I think is huge. There's, uh, it's a wide scope. Everybody wants to help. and. Um, they're contributing in any way they can. Between the young girls, Dark Star Orchestra, and everything in between, Locke says the support just keeps on growing. Tom Eschen reporting.